Hans, this year we will be blessed by a dragon type Pokemon. You mean Charizard, right? Uh? What is poppin' disciples and welcome back to the Mio Dojo. Today is a really special day because we're going to crack open the very first modern sets. I had my coffee, I had oxygen on Jutsu, so the hype levels are already super high. So let's don't waste any time and jump into an opening of Paldeon Fates. Alright, my dear disciples, I already like how this little Mimikyu here has this holy radiance around it. Yeah! <laughs> okay guys, I'm I'm too pumped. I guess you already know what's inside of this box by now. I'm sorry I always a little bit late with my openings, but sadly or happily I'm living here in Taiwan, but sadly the delivery from the states always takes quite a while so i'm always a little bit late with my opening that's why i was also opening a vintage boxes so far but let's take a quick look what is inside i really love these boxes these elite trainer boxes i ordered a couple because i want to do a, a small video in the future where i talk a little bit about how you can aesthetically pleasing organize your collection and i feel the elite trainer boxes are really really nice way to do that so look forward to this video in the future i'm already planning it so here are the sweet boosters which we come for but let's take a quick look at what we got we got those uh, nice looking uh, gadgets in here the dividers looking looking pretty sweet actually i like it with oh it's very shiny yeah looks nice with the mimikyu on them uh, we obviously have our promo card which is shiny uh, mimikyu looking sweet i like it a lot uh looking actually pretty good with the centering i can't believe it oh my gosh oh my goodness oh my damn <laughs> we have the card set and we have the coat along with those beautiful sleeves which i actually really like also these sleeves guys also inspired me to do the uh, aesthetically pleasing organization of your collection but without further ado guys let's pump up the action get some oxygen no jutsu and we will dive right into the opening of these beautiful boosters time to crack oh Hype levels normalized. All right, guys. So let's kick off this beautiful booster opening today with the first booster magic. Let's hope we have something nice. The the pool rates apparently are giga giga good on Paldeon Fades. They are similar uh, up there with Crown Zenith. So let's see what we can reel in. As usual, let me put the quest list on the side here for you guys to check what are my personal chase cards of Paldean Fates. And let me know in the comments down below which ones are your favorite. I'm super hyped to hear what you say. We're starting with Gengor coming in. Is he bringing us something from the spooky realm? To be happy today, we have Shiny Ditto! And behind it, do we have a double pack? We don't have... Oh, oh, I actually did have a little bit of a slide here, but Ditto Shiny coming in is absolutely amazing, guys. This one is definitely up there on my want list. I think it's already uh, going for also a decent price. It's definitely one of the better Shiny Pokemon. Let me sleeve that bad boy up right away. <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious, guys. Do you think most of the Shiny Pokemon actually look nice? I think most of them, the coloring is kind of garbage. <laughs> I wonder really, like, they went like, okay, boys and girls, what should we make shiny Pokemon look like? They are the most unique Pokemon out there. Let's make them beautiful. And then, you know, the meme with the guy being thrown out of the window when he says, no, we should make them actually look beautiful. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm super happy. Ditto Shiny is a good first booster magic start. I love it. And we have Psychic Energy in the last Crown Xenos opening or in general. Psychic energy has been the dojo energy. The chunk, my boy, coming in in the mud here. Execute, chilling in the jungle. Um, so yeah, psychic energy normally one of our better ones. Uh, hive levels are high, guys. We have mouse hole. Actually, the bottom here looks a little bit like a special card. I was like, what the heck is coming in there? Is it already a special card? We have the Pildean students, my boys and girls. And behind it, we have Katani. But there's one more in the bag, and it's Magmore Talk. My bad boy, riding up in there, fire energy. So yeah, uh, in general, the hit rates in Paldeon Fades should be pretty, pretty nice. Uh, I have um, one more box to open after this one, so I'm definitely gonna do a follow-up. 
uh, in the near future with another Paldean Fates, but we have the fire energy bringing the fire, the heat into the dojo. Let's see, I really want one of the illustrations where the Palafin just looks so nice. I really, really want the Palafin. I just like this dark vibe. Reminds me a little bit of those uh, Team Rocket vibes, you know, like the Rocket Palafin. That could have been a thing. Love it. So we have the Moonlit Hill shining upon us, bringing us a Barboge, bringing us a Toad School. I always feel Toad School looks shiny in this one. I don't know why. And behind it, we have coming in Iron Treads EX Transformation Complete. All right, three boosters in, two hits. That is a decent start. Not gonna complain. I really like the set. Actually, I'm not 100% sure I really will build a master set for Paldean Fates. Uh, it just, it has so many shiny gallery cards. And I'm like I said, I'm not really the big fan of shinies. I mean, it's always nice to catch one or to pull one in the games. Um, but I have to say, they just look garbage. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I, I rather want to build like uh, 151 or maybe Crown Zenus as a full set. Oh, I really want the Iono in illustration rare. I, I like her. I like her. She is like one of those trainers from Scarlet and Violet that actually have some personality, which I really like. Rare candy coming in. We have a Gimme Ghoul. Gimme, 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 gimme a rare, please. Yeah. Executor, my boy coming in uh, with his. Uh, Big Daddy, the dragon type. <laughs> when I was writing the intro ske sketch, I was like thinking, okay, what can we do with dragon? And I don't know why when I think of dragon type Pokemon, um, there is always Executor come popping into my head. I don't know what they did there. Maybe it was the same guy. Uh, I forgot to put the energy to the side. Maybe it was the same guy who did the shiny Pokemon color palette. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go keep rolling. We have the shadow energy. Maybe shadow clan jinxing this booster um, We have Don fun. We have Atticus Mousehold read with that bottom layer. It just looks like a Giga special. I don't know <laughs> And back Scalibur shiny is coming in and do we have a double pack? We do and it is freaking Halifin. It is it is unbelievable Boys and girls, we actually got our chase card, the one that we were looking for. This is, is, is a monumental event for the Mew Dojo and I'm so happy I can share it with you guys. Guys, the hype levels are freaking high. You know the funny thing is, it's not even worse than much, it's like a freaking cheeseburger. But it is like the chase card and I always think that what is the Pokemon TCG is about. Um, it's not necessarily about making the big cash or getting like the super hitters. It's getting what you want and it is like, you know, it's, it's funny really, it's like a cheeseburger but it is the card that I wanted the most from this set along with Mew EX. So if we draw on this, I'm just gonna straight flatline Choom. <laughs> uh, but, oh my gosh, yeah, that is what, what's, what Pokemon TCG for me is about, guys. I'm just super happy we got this one. And I do hope you guys also got your chase cards. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite card from the set. What is your chase cards? How was your hits? I'm always happy to hear from you guys in the comments. So please put a Dachshund. Look kind of delicious. <laughs> Wanna eat those ears. Chomp chomp. <laughs> and Gold Dango. I heard actually Gold Dango is like giga common. Like my friends told me they draw like two or three Gold Dangos in one box. <laughs> He's coming in with his five fingers. With his golden fingers. Um, but let's keep rolling. This is a really really fun box I gotta say. Um, like I mentioned there is not that many cards um, I want this time. Uh, they have like this massive shiny gallery. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking like maybe Cleffa, the, the cute baby Pokemon. Oh, Iono. I really, really want her in Illustration Rare. That would also be super nice. But yeah, the Shiny Gallery doesn't pick me up too much uh, this time around. We have Baroon coming in, cruising, and we have Mimikyu looking really cute. I like this one. We have our box art coming in as a normal. We have two more boosters to go, guys. Oxygen levels are actually okay. I'm not gonna use the Oxygen Ujutsu just yet. Still have the, the coffee in my uh, veins <laughs> pushing me to the new limits. <laughs> and that Palafin really picked me up, guys. That, that Palafin really picked me up. But let's keep rolling. Disciples, electric energy. Maybe it's the Iono? <laughs> let's see. You know, the reason why I like Iono Ofito 
looks so delicious. <laughs> uh, the reason why I actually like Iono is because I felt from Scarlet and White or in a long time for Pokemon games, she really has some personality. You know, uh, I, I feel like the, the extra shot they did as a promo um, to make her uh, with the stream, I think that was pretty cool, Professor's research. Uh, that really gave her some personality and I felt like the game inside needs more of these kind of like special sequences um, where like people get gets a little bit of personality and I'm talking about like nice animation and I could go on forever with this kind of topic for the Pokemon games main entry line but yeah all right water energy palafin drop in the water energy in the ocean for us we got Nimona Charmander, let me go a little bit slower for the last one. Maybe we have a last booster magic as well. Chameleon, we have Technical Machine, Crisis Punch, Justice Clash. And we have another shiny, it's Xatu, my man, coming in. And do we have a last special box? We do not, but we have the Execute. Actually, there's something more behind. It's the Houndstone. So we have a shiny coming in here. So let me sleep that one up. And then, actually, guys, I actually did something. Uh, I rearranged the structure of the video a little bit. So now, join me on the campsite while we check today's cards and experience points in one blow. See you over there. All right, my dear disciples, and welcome back to the Mew Dojo campsite. Let me pull up our loot from today. I think overall we were quite lucky. We had the shiny ditto, which definitely was quite nice. And let me bring up the biggest card, our cheeseburger card. Let's call them like this. <laughs> Not worth much, but definitely the one I really, really wanted. Also, you can see we got a bunch of EXP for the Dojo Level Up reward. So I hope in the next episode, we're gonna hit that level up and I can give out some nice rewards to you guys. All right, my disciples, and thank you so much for joining in today. Today has been my favorite episode on the channel so far, just because we pulled that number one chase card for me. And regardless of its value, it just feels absolutely be amazing so if you enjoyed the work that i put into these videos i would be giga happy if you consider becoming a disciple and subscribe to the Mio dojo until next one i wish you good luck on your polls i have been your Mio dojo sensei you guys all have been amazing stay safe out there and see you in the next one